Universal Studios. It's actually a couple weeks after. We just got done tracking drums and bass guitar, working on the seas. We took a little bit of a break to take a vacation down to Universal Studios. So we're down here. This is one of our friends, Jesse. Hi. You'll see her again, actress, at New Orleans this year. She'll be joining us in New Orleans on the stage. She'll be our actress. Looking forward to that. So we've been having, we've been visiting Harry Potter at Hogwarts. Be jealous. Hang, hang, are the horrible. Before we go back from our vacation, I just kind of want to show off some of our swag that we got. Got some cool stuff. This is a half-eaten chocolate frog from uh, Harry Potter World and Universal Studios. We got this with our butterbeer, because butterbeer was awesome. Non alcoholic. Non alcoholic. And this is from the top of a pumpkin juice bottle. It just came with it. These are our cups that say hop, ha, ha, Harry Potter. Yeah, that's what they say. This is a, our a Gryffindor scarf for the blistering bl wizards and blizzards. Not wizards, w blizzards in Mobile, Alabama. And this last shirt uh, kind of shows off the 12 year old boy in me. Uh, I saw this and I thought that would be awesome for raves, Christmas parties, and just general telling people they're too loud. It's a shirt that has an LED panel in it. It doesn't have batteries right now, but it lights up with uh, sound. It's just sensitive, just like our LED lights that we take with us on the road. They're sensitive and it kind of lights up and peaks and stuff. I'm sure I'll find a practical purpose for it because I've never been to a rave, but I still think it's pretty cool and I bought it. Sad story. Today, we just got back from Disney World today. We were in the Magic Kingdom and a fun thing happened. Stacey and I were walking around in Frontierland. And this young girl came up and tapped us on the shoulder and kind of scared us because people don't tap you on the shoulder in Frontierland. And, uh, and it was a young girl named Blake who came to camp in 2009 and 2010 to recognize us and wanted to come talk to us. It's always neat to run to people that we've uh, done ministry with in the past. And so it was cool to run to Blake. She's from just north of Mobile, about 30 minutes north. Um, she went to Enfuge her first year and Centerfuge her second year. And it was really cool to kind of run to her and talk to her again. Her high school band is playing tomorrow at Disney World. So good luck to you guys. We won't be able to make it. We're heading back tomorrow. We're going back to finishing up stuff. Next on the CD work is the guitar tracking. Knocking that out next week. Looking forward to that.